It's one of the things that worries and concerns some of the critics. Whether for smart or stupid reasons, some people didn't want you to see these films. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies that were boycotted. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at movies that some people felt so strongly about for whatever reason that they urged audiences to stay away. Hey, where are you going? What are you hiding? Number 10, Mad Max Fury Road. I salute my imperial Fury Road. When the trailers were first released, everyone was ecstatic at the prospect of another entry in the Mad Max franchise. Well, everyone but a men's rights blog which called for a boycott, claiming the film was feminist propaganda, quote, posing as a guy flick. The blog took issue with Charlize Theron's character, claiming she was too prominent and that Max seemed like a side character. You know, hope is a mistake. The activists also feared that male viewers would be, quote, duped into seeing the movie due to the explosions and action. They also cited the Mad Max films as being American culture, despite every work in the franchise being filmed in Australia, in addition to being both written and directed by an Australian. Number 9. The Harry Potter Franchise You're a wizard, Harry. This is, by far, the longest boycott on this list. When the first Harry Potter book was released, it was a surprising success and was eventually published around the world, spawning multiple sequels. However, some religious groups took extreme issue with the book's apparent occult and satanic themes, claiming the adventures of Harry Potter and his friends would cause their children to turn to dark magic. This led to boycotts and bans of the books and anything else relating to the wizarding world. Predictably, this boycott also expanded to include the decade-long film franchise. Number 8. Casino Royale Why is it people who can't take advice always insist on giving it? Not a fan of Daniel Craig as James Bond? Then allow us to introduce you to some people who took that dislike to the extreme. After the casting was announced in the mid-2000s, a group of self-proclaimed, quote, true Bond fans were furious that Craig was chosen to portray the character for a few reasons. But the most notable one was his blonde hair. The boycott of Casino Royale was launched largely by a website called DanielCraigIsNotBond.com. It claimed Craig shouldn't be Bond for reasons ranging from his hair color and, quote, rough face to his previous acting roles. Despite this, many have praised Craig's version of 007, including former Bond actors. You know, I always say that Sean was the killer and I was the lover. And now I see Daniel Craig, I know he is the killer. Number 7. The Passion of the Christ How is The main reason for this boycott seemed to come down to misrepresentation. Many members of the Jewish community supported the boycott, claiming the film was anti-Semitic and depicted Jewish people as evil. Others took issue with the film's accuracy, claiming the film didn't portray the setting or story correctly. <laughs> Still others claimed the choice to cast a Caucasian man as Jesus was whitewashing, since Jesus is historically of Middle Eastern descent. In response to all these controversies, director Mel Gibson claimed that the film was faithful to the story, but acknowledged that he did creatively interpret parts of it. I think that the Holy Ghost is real. I believe that he's looking favorably on this film. Number 6. The Hateful Eight Well, I'll be double dog damn. You'd think a Tarantino boycott would be because of violence and not choice language. But before the release of Quentin Tarantino's film The Hateful Eight, multiple boycotts were proposed, some of which were created or backed by U.S. police unions and organizations due to comments he made at a Black Lives Matter protest. The demonstration was a response to multiple incidents of police killing unarmed African Americans. And when I see murder, I cannot stand by, and I have to call the murdered the murdered, and I have to call the murderers the murderers. Tarantino was at the protest and publicly denounced the officers as, quote, murderers, causing some to accuse Tarantino of promoting anti-police sentiments. As a result, several law enforcement organizations called for or publicly supported the boycott. You shouldn't, you shouldn't knock the police. We feel like Quentin Tarantino, he's a great filmmaker, but he should stay away from the political statements. Number 5. Ghostbusters Okay, 
this is not good. When a reboot of the original Ghostbusters was announced back in 2014, boycotts were immediately called. Some took issue with the fact that it was a reboot, while others specifically disliked that it was a Ghostbusters reboot, believing this new film would taint the original. However, in 2015, more extreme groups began calling for viewers to skip this flick, but for an entirely different reason the female-led cast. Let's light them up! Some anti-women and anti-feminist groups saw the film's all-female cast as the result of a, quote, feminist agenda, calling for a boycott of the feature simply because it starred some funny ladies. Lord have mercy, this is just wrong! Number 4. Beasts of No Nation Just remember when you are all poor. Boycotts don't always come from consumers. They can come from huge companies, too. The fuss started when the distribution rights to Beasts of No Nation were purchased by Netflix, who planned on releasing the film the same day as its theatrical release. This didn't sit well with theater companies, who were upset that Netflix didn't honor the 90-day break between a movie's theatrical release and its home entertainment release. In response, AMC, Regal, Cinemark, and Carmike refused to screen the film in their theaters, limiting its release to a few smaller chains and independent theaters. The film was released as planned and ended up being screened in just 31 theaters across the U.S. Who wants to fight? Number 3. Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens. Finn, what's yours? I'm right. While most were excited for a new entry in the Star Wars saga, with the last major film being released over a decade before, some, mainly white supremacists and anti women groups, were not. After the release of the first teaser trailer, a small portion of Twitter users started the hashtags Boycott Star Wars and Boycott Star Wars 7, accusing the film of pushing an anti-white and feminist agenda due to the casting of the lead actors. The hashtag did gain traction, but only thanks to the amount of users mocking it. We cannot run them! We might! Despite the overwhelmingly negative response to the boycott, these same groups were added again a year later, this time asking people to hashtag Dump Star Wars Rogue One. May the force be with us. Number 2. Fifty Shades of Grey Why are you trying to change me? Ironically, it seems like this film couldn't please anyone. The reasons people had for boycotting this feature varied drastically, but three main groups can be given credit for leading the charge against Fifty Shades. Firstly, there were the anti-porn and anti-BDSM people, who mistakenly believed it to be the same as physical abuse. If you remove the glitz and the glamour, the powerful job, the fancy suits, it's really just a story about domestic violence and, and sexual abuse against women. The second group was fine with BDSM, but took issue with the plot, claiming the relationship between the two main characters was abusive. Finally, the third group was comprised of people who participate in BDSM, but who saw this film as a huge misrepresentation of not only BDSM, but also those who enjoy it. I could just be the one. It's your adrenaline. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. This place. I know what you expect. They're Egyptians. They should be treated as Egyptians. They should have the same rights. They should be paid for their work, or you must set them free. It's kind of like my father. Is it okay if you tell me your name? The monks named me Ang. If you don't believe, Peter, then neither will they. Number 1. A Dog's Purpose You okay, boy? Right before the release of A Dog's Purpose, TMZ published a video supposedly depicting the abuse of one of the dog actors on set. And then I'm going in with him. In the video, a dog is shown being dragged into running water in a tank for a scene, seemingly struggling and terrified. The video then jumps ahead to show the same dog submerged in the water and a voice saying cut. This prompted backlash, including a boycott called by PETA. However, after an investigation by the American Humane Association, which ensures no animals are hurt on set, the video was discovered to be falsified, with the footage having been edited to be intentionally misleading. The dog had been in that water happily and mm -hmm. even afterwards too and uh, the dog was fine. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.